What's up, YouTube? Uh, hope you've been enjoying the content, and I uh, appreciate all the like and s new subscribers. It really means a lot. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, please do. It really means a lot, uh, especially starting out. And any like also helps out tremendously. And I much appreciate just viewing the video and uh, any input you want to put down into the comments to uh, making these videos better. Um, thank you all so much. And to get into this video, this is the best beginning base in my opinion. Um, it's right here behind where you, right where you uh, spawn in at right off the bat. Um, just turn around back towards this castle and it's a great spot um, can't really ask for anything better as far as the spot goes um, coming down through this way you see uh, there's only one way for rays to come down and this is it you can see why I have mines down through everything and you put up gates uh, wooden gates you know for beginning game and whatnot all through here so that won't be a problem. Put down fires as well because raiders will run over those fires and catch fire just like I did and take a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, there's only one entrance to raids. Basically invincible from raids. So you don't have to worry about anything burning down ever. Um, and I have a bunch of Nubis statues. I call this Anubis Castle just because I like the looks of it. Um, coming down this main part, uh, to the left you kind of see all the beds. That's where I keep all my beds at. Uh, in the front, you keep your assembly lines and workbenches here in the beginning of the game. Good little spot like that. Um, and then I keep my smelters over here. Some extra storage. All kinds of storage you can put up over here and whatnot. Your power box you want to keep right here, uh, located at 258, negative 528, with the back of it facing this way, towards this wall. So that when things will spawn in back here to get it to where it's at now, where I have the bubble at now. <coughs> Excuse me. Going on with the video, uh, you really only need to put one food box down for any of your bases, just so everybody goes to one thing and everybody puts all the food in one thing. Uh, so this is it for me. This is a good median area for everybody to get around and go do everything for. So as you can see now, they're planting and going down here, picking up stuff and taking it to that food box as we speak. Um, really, you don't need two of these breeding uh, pens. Just have one at the beginning of the game. And you can have a ranch right here. And then uh, also a good little logging pit and stone pit. You easily fit down here um, for all your stone and logs that you need uh, early game. And uh, I have my food over here as well. And some extra beds just to uh, have down here. And... Uh, Really, that's about it for the base. Um, it's a really easy base to get to. It's right there at the beginning of the spawn. Everything you, you can craft to get all the materials you need. And then by the time you get to mid-game, I have a video out uh, for the best ore video that uh, goes over how uh, the best ore base for mid to late game, end game. So, um, and as you can tell, this is just a beautiful, beautiful view of the back of this uh base so it doesn't get any better whatsoever and then coming around the front it is completely completely blocked off to where you uh, can't see none of it which is uh, I like a lot so um, uh, without further ado you know this this is I think my personal opinion the best base uh, beginning base in the game that you can have best location uh, one spot for raiders they cannot attack you really it's really easy to defend against um, but anyways, thank you all for watching. It means the world. Please drop a like and subscribe. It will mean a lot and it, uh, makes me grow so much as a YouTuber. So, uh, just, and also please leave comments for how to improve my videos. It will help me out a lot. And, uh, once again, appreciate you all for stopping by and taking your time to listen to the video. Much love guys.